1.3 order of operations. So everyone in the whole world gets the same answer when doing problems. We follow an order of operations. The first step is grouping symbols. Grouping symbols consists of parentheses, brackets which are squared off, and braces which are the squiggly line ones. And if you have more than one set inside in a problem, you do the inside ones first. Exponents we talked about in the last lesson, they come second. So 2 to the third power, we write in expanded form 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Next, we multiply or divide whichever comes first reading the problem left to right. Then we add or subtract whichever comes first reading the problem left to right. Always add or subtract last unless they're in parentheses, unless the operations are in parentheses. Notice I didn't write PEMDAS because you have more grouping symbols than just parentheses. Now you can have brass, brackets or braces. And I don't want you to think that you multiply first or add first, which it shows in PEMDAS. You need to see what's first going left to right. Here's an example. I have the quantity of 20 plus 5 divided by 5 plus 18 divided by 3. When you have something in parentheses, you read it the quantity of. So since we have parentheses, those are grouping symbols, that's what we do first. 20 plus 5. Now I'm just going to write down everything else that's the same. In future problems, I'll show you where we can do more than one thing together. But this first problem, I'm just going to do one step at a time. So I write the 20 plus 5 is 25, copy down, divided by 5, plus 18, divided by 3. Now if you look at your problem, you have division, addition, division. What would come first? Division. So I'm actually going to do two, both divisions at the same time. I'm going to do 25 divided by 5 is 5, carry down the plus, 18 divided by 3 is 6. Now, the only thing I have left is addition, so 5 plus 6 is 11. Here's another example. 4 times, I'm sorry, 4 plus 2 times the quantity 8 minus 3 minus 6 divided by 2. So I'm going to do my parentheses first. 8 take away 3 is 5. Copy down the 4 plus 2 times 5 minus 6 divided by 2. The next thing I'm going to, actually, now I'm going to do these parentheses and these parentheses. So this is a multiplication problem. I could have written it down with the times, but if it's in parentheses, it's just easier to leave it in parentheses. So my operations are addition, multiplication, subtraction, division. I put parentheses around what I'm going to do first, the multiplication and the division. 4 plus 2 times 5 is 10, minus 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now the only thing left in my problem is addition and subtraction, so I go from left to right. 4 plus 10, 14 minus 3, 14 minus 3 is 11. Let's look at this problem and see where you could make some mistakes. Your brain tells you, if you look at this, your brain tells you 4 plus 2 is 6, okay? But you do not want to do that first. So don't let your brain take a shortcut. You need to follow the order of operations. And this is where a lot of students make mistakes, is they just say 4 plus 2 is 6. That's not correct. Okay? Don't be lazy. Don't let your brain be lazy. Here's our last example. Hmm. Next to last example. All right. We have the quantity of 2 plus the quantity of 8 minus 3 times 4 minus the quantity of 16 divided by 4 plus 2 times 3. So I have two sets of grouping symbols. I'm going to do what the innermost first. Copy down the 2 plus 8 minus 3 is 5, okay? Now those, I only have one set of parentheses left, so I'm just going to do parentheses. You don't have to copy down braces. Copy down the times 4 minus 16 divided by 4 is 4. Copy down the plus 2 times 3 is 6. Notice in this problem I'm not just doing one step at a time, but I am doing all the steps that are at the same level, okay? I'm doing the parentheses, and then I'm doing these two steps that are at the same level. So now I have parentheses times subtract plus. Parentheses comes first. 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 times 4 minus 4 plus 6. Okay. 
what would come first here? I'm going to put parentheses around it. The 7 times 4. 7, that shows me do it first because it's parentheses. 7 times 4 is 28 minus 4 plus 6. Now the only thing I have is addition and subtraction, so I go from left to right. Subtraction comes first. 28 minus 4 is 24. Carry down the plus 6. 24 plus 6 is 30. So here's where kids could make mistakes on this one. Um, you want to get your problem to just be adding or subtracting, then go from left to right. Don't add first automatically. Don't do this. 28 minus 4 plus 6. Oh, 4 plus 6 is 10. 28 minus 10 is 18. No, that's wrong, okay? You added first. You need to go in order. It's, it ends up being 20, 28 minus 4, 24, 24 plus 6 is 30, okay? Here's one where, where we are going to substitute as well. 3 times the quantity of, the quantity of x squared minus y plus 6, where x is 4 and y is 9. Substitute it in like we did in our other examples from a couple days ago. So I have x is 4, so now it's 4 squared, y is 9 minus 9. 3 times the quantity of, the quantity of 4 squared minus 9 plus 6. It would be okay with me if instead of writing 4 squared, you did the math and wrote 16, but you need to show the substitution, okay? So now my problem is 3 times 16 minus 9, because 4 squared is 16 plus 6. 16 take away 9 is 7. Now I have 7 plus 6. Still in parentheses, 7 plus 6 is 13. 13 times 3 finally is 39. I can't multiply by 3 until I get to the very end because I have all this stuff in parentheses I need to do first.